Hello and welcome folks, Pause Me, and I'm here to help you fix moves that files in WWE 2K16 that have been ported over from 2K15 and to show you how to extract POFOs and moves that files using Cheat Engine. Now, first off, one complaint I've heard some people have is that they do not have entrances for certain superstars. Uh, like my Alberto Del Rio used a ported entrance from 2K15. Some people don't want to download that, so he would not have an entrance. So if you want to actually have an entrance for that superstar, you want to go to someone that you do want to have, go to copy to superstar, and then you'll be able to copy over the entrance of that superstar. Now that's just a real quick start there. That is the first information that you can change if you have a moveset that is not quite complete. And here's another one. In the last video, we went over how to install Ronda Rousey with X-Packer. Now, we, you, if you followed that tutorial, previous tutorial installing with HXD and Cheat Engine, this would be the same. But this is going to be a bit different because this is going to assume that you do not have X-Packer, meaning that you do not have these edited movesets and POFOs. Now, we are going to go into the standing strikes, and you can see here that some of the strong strikes are non-existent, and that is because they weren't in 2K15. Now, if you want to fill these in, and then export your moveset, that would be a good thing to share with the community to get some of these movesets completely up to date. Now, the simple... Uh, switch over that I've done previously gets you started, gets you loaded into the game, gets you going. But there are, are errors with it. Uh, it is not complete, especially with some of the additions that 2K16 have added in. So now I'm going to open up Cheat Engine and show you what you need to do. Uh, this is going to assume that you've already done all the changes and now you want to simply save it and share it with the community. Now you want to take your cheat engine and hit this computer to select a process. Select WWE 2K16. I'm going to exit out to the main menu here just for a um, consistency sake is usually what I do here. Uh, and now we're going to go over to my 2K16 files here. Going to make it fairly big but not too big. Let's see. So Ronda Rousey. The POFO star text is this. And then we want to look at the next persons. And then we're going to do some math. So for that, I'm going to bring up the calculator. Just to help you guys out here. Now, this can be fairly simple, but if you want to use the calculator just to double check yourself, always feel free to do so. You're going to want to type out the previous persons, POFO start hex, so in this case, Baron Blade is one, four, two, eight, six, A, three, one, O. Oh. And now you're going to want to keep that in hex and minus one and hit equal sign. And that's your new one. So what will happen always with this is it'll be minus one in the uh, tens column. And then I'll turn to an F in the ones column. So I'm going to just bring this over here for us to keep in mental space. And now we have WWE 2K16 connected here. I'm going to open up memory view. I'm going to bring that on screen for you. Make it a bit smaller because we don't need it that big today. What we're going to do is hit file and then save memory region. So here is this little menu where you get to save multiple uh, regions of memory here. The first set of data we want to give it is the start of Rhonda's POFO file. So it's going to go from this value, and then we're going to go over here. I'm actually just going to copy Baron Blades over and change the last two digits here to 0F. So that'll be the start to the end, and then you want to add it. So this will save this memory region to your cheat engine file. And if you want to allow your file to be read by Xpacker and be consistent with all the other files, make sure not 
to include the cheat engine header file. Uh, if you do not include the header data, you'll have to specify the starter address for yourself when loading the file. That means cheat engine won't fill the starter address text field when it's loaded for you. Basically, that means is that when you load it, you'll need to copy over this uh, A170, this whole POFO star text, which is consistent with files created by XPacker. So we're going to hit save here. It's going to bring up a menu. I'm going to head over to my desktop and change this from all files. And now I've got this 506 POFO. I'm just going to add a cheat engine, a CE on the end of it. So we got a little bit something different. And now we go over to the moveset file. The moveset file is a very similar process, but we'll go over it as well here. So start of Ronda Rousey, just follow it all the way over. Control copy. I'm going to go file, save memory region. Now you want to right click and clear the list. This will remove the POFO because you don't want to save the POFO and the moveset together. You want them in separate files. Now we're going to start with the from again and paste. So we go got there right now. Now we're going to go over to Baron Blades and the start of his move set. Copy. Go back to Cheat Engine. Paste in the two. And now this is a six. And now we're just going to be minusing one to a five. So if you need to check with the calculator, go ahead and type it out. But it'll go from the six in the ones place to a five in the ones place. Now we need to add it. And that'll be your region that you're going to be saving for the moveset file. You're going to hit save. And now once again, make sure this is set to all files. Or you'll be slightly confused and have a uh, not quite correct file. There's a couple of things that can, can go wrong with this. But once you get used to it, it's going to be pretty second nature. It, it's fairly intuitive, but you just need to know the actual process. So now we get to see that we got a CE POFO and a CE move set. And now since I haven't done any changes here, we can open the two move sets and scroll all the way down. See that the last one for the CE one is BAO and the move set from Cheat Engine is also BAO. So we've got the same exact size and if we go all the way to the start, we should have the same exact data as well. If I tab back and forth, you see none of the bytes change. We got the same exact results we got from Xpacker. With uh, Xpacker was just a simple one click of the button, but we are able to make consistent files similar to that with Cheat Engine as well. For those that want to help in the community but do not have the funds to help with Xpacker. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. And of course, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like or subscribe for more. This has been Pausum and I thank you for your time.